What is up Division 2 agents, this is Gamer for Life back with another Division 2 video. In this video, I wanted to show you the fastest way to get the absolute best loot in the game, and that is a legendary loot without having to go through those long legendary missions to get to the boss drop and have a chance at something like the Bighorn dropping. Of course, as you can see, this is doing Legendary Summit, and it seems like every time I showcase Legendary Summit on a video, I'm always getting a big horn to drop. So if you've been in the DZ hoping to get one of these to drop, I would definitely recommend coming here and farming for it because it just seems to drop left and right in my experience, which you guys can see with your own eyes. But this farm is not all about getting the big horn. It's getting some really nice gear, weapons, and mods. I'm always asked how am I getting my max mods, and this is exactly how I get the majority of them. If there's something I'm looking for, the beauty of summon is you can come and put your targeted loot for whatever you want to farm for, and the quality is always going to be the best that the game has to offer. Doing this method, you take out a boss every three minutes, three, four minutes, that's taking out and getting loot from a legendary boss every three minutes. That's crazy. So basically, you want to get the floor 10, and I know a lot of you already have this checkpoint if you did the floor 10 XP farm from back in the day. But if you don't have it, just put summon on normal and make your way up to floor 10. And then once you get to floor 10, go back down to the lobby and change the difficulty to legendary. You don't need any directors or anything because we're not worried about XP since we are not wanting to finish the floor. We're just worried about getting that legendary boss drop. One thing I would not recommend is using your eclipse build that I know a lot of people were using when doing the floor 10 XP farm. But we don't want to use that because we want to make sure and keep at least one NPC alive after we take out the boss. And I know personally doing this, I accidentally have taken out all of the NPCs because obviously when you take out an enemy using a status effect, it automatically transfer to the nearest enemy and it just spreads like wildfire. And I one of the uh, one of the farms i just completely took out the whole floor so we want to avoid doing that because what that will do is bump us up to floor 11 then we would have to reset and go through floors 1 through 10 again but once we do take the boss out leave some enemies alive we just want to press our back button then hold Y and that's uh, gonna fast travel us back to Washington. Of course, this may, the button layout may be different on other platforms, so just be mindful of that. And what that's going to do is reset for 10 for you to come back and as you've seen in the gameplay, because I'm not editing anything out, we can just continuously go back and take out this legendary boss over and over and over again and just keep getting all of this beautiful legendary loot. Now the build I'm using is pretty easy one to get. I'm sure most of you already have this set up, but it's just a four piece Hunter's Fury with Memento and that Zero's F chest piece. And also using the Scorpio shotgun. That's just the build that I like to use when doing this, but you use whatever build you feel most comfortable with using while doing legendary content. If you are doing challenging or heroic content and have not been having any luck getting some really nice rolls on your loot, I would definitely recommend doing this farming method because the quality of loot is top tier. So yeah, that is the video my friends. Let me know if you try this and if you get some awesome loot doing it. We do have the best global event this game has ever put together in the golden bullet coming out tomorrow so i hope you all are getting ready for that because it is a lot of fun and i'll probably be making a video on the build or builds that i'm using for that global event with all of that said i'm just gonna go ahead and let the gameplay play out to taking out this next boss and that's actually going to be my third boss with no editing 
making this video so maybe it's a little better than one boss every three minutes but anyway hope you guys are doing good staying safe out there and as always my youtube family take it easy